God's word is true whether anybody ever experienced it or not. the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. I'm a royal priesthood. I'm a holy nation. I'm a chosen generation. I am the redeemed of the Lord. You got to open your mouth and say what is written, praise God. I am not what I've been through. I am not what I look like. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus, praise God. You got to know who you are. You're not what your neighbors say. You're not what the folk in your neighborhood say about you. You're not what your enemies say about you. You are who God says you are. But folks, I've been there where you are depressed. 12 years ago, I'm sitting on the foot of my own bed with my pistol in my hand, getting ready to take my own life, and the devil is sitting there, he's pointing on about the mistakes in my life, about the errors of my life, about how I messed up my life, and my family would be better off if I wasn't here. Look at what I've done again, and I'm sitting there listening to the devil, getting ready to take my own life, but I had to take authority over that devil. There's power in that name. I grew up in a community, and, and you know, sometimes we'd be at this, I, I grew up in Acres Hall, and you know, there's a park called Lincoln City Park. Or down there in the projects, where everything used to go down at. Down there on, 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 on Lee Yaw, 790. Yeah, Lee Yaw, down there, Lee Yaw and Shepherd down, that was the project. Every now and then, you know, we'd be on the basketball court or something. Every now and then, you hear old boy say, don't make me go to my trunk. Now, 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 what is he letting you know? That I got power in my trunk. And if I go to my trunk and come back, something gonna change. Yeah, you saying that now, but let me get to my trunk. See, 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 now watch this. Now look where his confidence is. And now his confidence is in the power he got in that trunk. And he know once he go to this trunk, all them folk who've been talking, they're going to shut their mouth when he come back from his trunk. Now, now watch this, folks. Now, we talking about something made by man. What about the power of God? What about that power that no man can resist, no devil can resist, no demon can resist? I'm talking about power that's above every power and a name that is above every name that can ever be named. Don't make me call on the name of Jesus here. Don't make me call on the name of Jesus. And you got to have confidence in that name just like he had confidence in what's in that trunk. And if you just keep coming and don't you get weary in your well-doing because in due season, you're going to reap if you don't faint. And before long, you'll be sitting there just like everybody else. Come here. Y'all sit right here. Y'all sit right here. Y'all sit right here. See, here's the thing. Here's the thing. When we sitting at the table, you can't tell who crippled.
the table. Because there is a grace, there is a grace that covers all of us at the table. That you can't tell who it was that was crippled. Hallelujah. I might be crippled, but I'm at the table. Stop by CPM Bookstore and pick up your copy today.